Well, today marks the formal name change for a ski and mountain biking getaway in the Upper Valley, one of the oldest ski areas in the country. That's right. Its uh, former name had long bothered a lot of people who considered it insensitive. Jack Thurston was at a special event today to mark the Landmarks Fresh Chapter. I ask for those blessings. The chief of the Nolhegan Band of the Kusuk Abnaki Nation, Don Stevens, blessing the ski area now named using his people's language. Connecting um, this place with the original people who lived here is a full circle. Saskadena 6, meaning Standing Mountain, is owned by the famous Woodstock Inn and Resort. The new name replaces a more than 80-year-old moniker that many here had grown uncomfortable with, Suicide 6, once apparently a way of describing the risk you'd have to take zooming down from the top. There are still some historic displays acknowledging what came before this update. I hope it reflects that we are adaptable and we have our community in mind and the people that we care about and that we're looking towards the future so that we can continue to be sustainable and committed to the community. I imagine you welcome this name change. I completely welcome this change. Kathleen L's son, Logan, died by suicide. Today, she's an author and speaker on grief and healing. L sees the name change as reflecting growing awareness of suicide, that it follows profound emotional distress and mental health crises, and isn't something to be flippant about or to use stigmatizing language with. I honor them. I am grateful for them. That for taking the step and they are really becoming um, the, the face of what needs to happen in this society. Your spiritual connection. Chief Stevens hopes visitors to the newly named Saskadena 6 will deepen their connections with the outdoors and the land and learn a little bit about the original inhabitants of what's now Vermont. We love to partner with people who care about uplifting people. In South Pomfret, Jack Thurston, NBC5 News. And remember, suicide is preventable, and there's a lot of help available for people in crisis. The easy-to-remember new number for the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline is 988. Recently, there's been...